Yes. So in these old houses, you want to figure out which way the roof is leading. So the roof's leaning like this, and it's leaning like that. So it's going like this and like that. So that means we're going to be focusing our attention on this side over here. And take a look up at that skylight, and you'll see we've already opened it up. Now we'll head up to the roof. So we are determined down below that our leak is most likely coming from this side of the skylight because the, the roof down there is going like this and then it's also going like this. So if you're lucky, you'll have something like this, this nice V-Lux skylight. I've already removed the mounting screws, so I'm just going to pop this off. And in most cases, the V-Lux itself is not going to be leaking. So you don't have to worry too much about these seams. But just to be safe, in case this one is leaking, I'm going to flip it around. What we'd be inspecting is these top edges over here. Now, since the V-Lux wraps around two inches down, we don't have to worry about anything above my fingers. It's all going to be down below my fingers. So you can see this old tar that they put here. It seems to me that they didn't do a proper corner on these where you would have a separate folded piece on top of this. So one of the things we're probably going to do is just seal these again uh, on both sides. The other thing that seems suspect to me is maybe this line of the roof. So another thing that I would do is I would look, visually inspect the inside of the skylight for any signs of moisture. And I'm not seeing anything in the top. Generally, you're not going to see it. So you're going to have to just try to figure out what's going on on the top. So the next thing to know is what to use. So I'm not married to Henry's. I don't care whether you use Henry's or not, but always use a rubberized or a plasticized wet patch. Um, the problem with this stuff that's on here right now is it gets hard and it cracks away. So all this stuff is eventually going to crack off and leak. So the rubberized, you know, it's, it's a few more dollars, but it's not that much more given the longevity that you're going to get versus a non-rubberized material. So this stuff is really handy. It's just a little fiberglass sheet roll. And if I had a big hole that was pretty obvious, I would just put the fiberglass roll down and then I would take the patch and I would just spread it over it and just seal it like I was patching a surfboard. But in this case, we don't need to do that. But if you have a big hole, this stuff's really handy. Two birds with one stone. As you're diagnosing, you're using a little steel brush to clean up all of this stuff and look for any cracks you can see. So for example, um, this looks like it's got tiny little cracks in it. I'm not sure that that's the source of our leak. Um, and then I got some, some moss over here. Uh, just anywhere I, I'm suspect, I'm going to see it. So in this case, which is often going to happen when you're trying to find a leak, I don't see any real obvious holes. There's actually one obvious hole over here, which I can see, um, which, but I don't actually think this is most likely where it, the water's coming from, but I'm definitely going to seal it anyways. So basically what I'm going to do is anywhere underneath this two inch lip where there's a joint, I'm gonna repatch the joint with a rubberized cement and we're gonna wait another season and see if it works. You can test with the water hose, um, but most likely you're not gonna identify the problem. It's gonna happen in a, in a significant downpour that you're, the water's gonna do what it normally does during a storm. So I would, by all means, test it with a water hose, but don't expect yourself to get the answer. You know, it's definitely possible that it'll still leak even if you can't make it leak with a water hose. So we're not going to remove the old stuff. It would probably do more damage than good to remove the old stuff. So we're just going to apply on top. It's not going to be pretty. It's just going to seal the old joint. So basically my goal is to just go large, slightly larger than the old patch. And now it's a rubberized, whereas I could tell the previous type was not rubberized. And we're just going to go around and we're going to do this on all four corners because that's most likely where this is leaking. If you have 
an old style skylight, you might want to consider re-sealing with silicon or I really like Lexel's clear caulking all these seams. But with this relatively new Velux, I'm 99% sure that's not where the problem's coming from. And that's pretty much it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do all the other ones. And then we'll hope that that's all it needed. So in this second skylight where we had a leak in this house as well, as we were diagnosing what it was, we again we checked the level. So the house pitches down like this. This is the way the roof is sloping. So that was easy. And then the, the leak was directly below this corner. And when you look at this corner, this one's much more obvious than the other one. They didn't even really properly seal this side. And then there's a big cut right here. So it's all, that, that's pretty obvious. Now again, you might seal this whole thing and find that it doesn't solve your leak, but definitely seal the obvious ones. And then we're gonna go back and we're gonna do all the corners because again, they didn't do this properly and they didn't do corners on top of their skylights. So the way to correctly do this is you, you run the paper together like they did here, but then you put an extra patch on the outside uh, and seal that to this so you have an extra layer. Right now, all they've got is the seam here. So that's why these skylights are leaking. So we just replaced the skylight on here. There is a little gasket in there. This box is a little smaller than it should be. And that gasket needs to seal around the two by six that's in there. So again, I'm pretty confident that the water is not coming in through the skylight. It's not coming up and in here. That would really be hard wind driven rain and the rubber gasket is sealing just fine. Um, so we've wrapped all the corners. This spot was a little suspect. I hope that's helpful. Um, leave comments below and let us know how you would do it if you have another idea. Thanks for watching.